Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him, all creatures here below. Praise him above, ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Great is the faithfulness of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He alone is worthy to be praised and worthy to be adored. God is a good God, yes, he is. God is a good God, yes, he is. My God is a good God, yes, he is. My God is a good God, yes, he is. He picks me up, he turns me around, he plants my feet on higher ground. He is a miracle working God, a miracle working God. He is a wonder. He is a miracle. He is a miracle working God. Oh, we say God is a good God. Yes, he is. My God is a good God. Yes, he is. My God is a good God. Yes, he is. My God is a good God. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our God is good, our God is awesome, our God is great and greatly to be praised. What a mighty God we serve, what a mighty God we serve. For the angels bow before him and the heavens and the earth adore him. What a mighty God, what a mighty God, what a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord my Father. There is no shadow of turning in thee. Thou changest not thy compassion, they fail not. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto us. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning new mercies I see. All I have needed. Lord, your hands have provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto us. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, in the fourth watch you we see. All we have needed, Lord, your hands have provided. Great is your faithfulness lord unto us hallelujah hallelujah good morning holy spirit of god and welcome welcome into our presence welcome into our day welcome into our way have your way holy spirit of god all of you and none of us glorify yourself in every element and aspect of this morning this time this moment this season Whatever time zone your people are in on the seven continents of the world, we ask, O oh God, that you will touch in a special way, that you will reveal yourself to us in an awesome way. Cause us to know you, O oh God Almighty. Let every person that arises this, this day, this moment, O oh God, or who has already arisen, to see and to be and to do. Cause us, O oh God Almighty, to, to experience you in a revelatory way, to experience you like Thomas experienced you, O oh God, touching the nail print in your hands and in your feet and in your and the spear print in your side. Cause us, O oh God, to encounter and experience you like Moses as he was hidden in the cleft of the rock and you showed him the backside of your glory. Father, show us the backside of your glory today in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We ask, O oh God, that you will reveal yourself to us that we might, hallelujah, be intimate, close, what deep, buried in you, O oh God Almighty, because only those who are buried in you are sons of the living God. And so, Lord, we ask that you will bury us in you today, bury us in you in every way, bury us in you, O oh God, this is what we say, bury us in you, because this is what we believe is your will for us, that we become one with you, even as you are one with the Father. And if we are one with you, Lord Jesus, then we are one with the Father, one in spirit and in truth. 
Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we ask, O oh God, that you will open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing on this Fort Watch family that will not have room. We will not have room to receive. Pour out your blessing upon us that we will run and not be weary and walk and not faint. Pour out your blessing upon us that we will know you in an uncommon way, that we will know your word, hallelujah, and obey your word. Pour out your blessing upon us, O oh God, not blessings necessarily for things, but blessings for heavenly and kingdomly understanding for blessings come when we understand you blessings come when we access your kingdom blessings come when we walk in obedience to your will and to your way blessings come hallelujah when we are manifesting your kingdom from our hearts when we, when we allow the holy spirit to minister to us and to lead us in every way shape and form blessings will come in the natural and so, Lord, we ask that you will manifest yourself to us and teach us how to walk in spirit and in truth that no weapon formed against us can prosper and every tongue that rises against us in judgment is condemned and destroyed by fire. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I ask you, O God Almighty, that every person that has arisen this morning in this fourth watch hour to walk with you, Father, may your angels encamp round about, them, about us to keep us in all our ways, encamp round about our families in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let nothing that the enemy desires to do to us or through us be accomplished in the name of Jesus, for we are not surrendered to the enemy we are not emissaries of lucifer we are not carriers of any form of parasites that have Louis luciferian uh, mandates we thank you lord god almighty that everything that is in us that is not of you is being flushed out of us this morning this moment in the name of jesus father we repent and renounce any association with any satanic agenda any satanic assignment any satanic contamination even through dreams and visions oh god almighty where satan has come and touched us where satan has led us astray where satan has caused us to say or to think or to do anything oh god almighty that is an affront to you that is a, a against your word your will and your ways father we repent even now and ask your forgiveness ask your washing ask your cleansing purify us oh god almighty from every contamination in the name of jesus christ of nazareth father every known thing and every unknown thing that we have been involved with that could easily put us in a bad place could cause oh god almighty satan to find place in us when he comes father we repent and renounce it now we place ourselves in the pool of Bethesda and we say Lord Jesus heal us from every satanic assignment every agenda everything that has caused our physical bodies to be ill father we ask that you will heal us now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we ask oh God that every member of this family hallelujah that you place us in the pool of Bethesda the pool of your love the pool of Jehovah Rapha this day the pool of the blood of Yeshua the Amashiach of Nazareth that pool of blood that ran from your side at Calvary we ask that you will place us in that pool this day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and heal us oh God heal our souls heal our bodies heal our thought process heal our words heal us oh God our cells our sinews our tissues heal oh God our our brain hallelujah our cerebral cortex our frontal lobe heal our eyes oh god from every visionary issues natural and, and spiritual in the name of jesus christ heal our ears from every hearing disorder in the mighty name of jesus christ heal our, our voice box our tongues oh god from every contaminated word spoken every idle word every word of dishonor every word oh god almighty that is not that that doesn't bring life heal us oh god we repent of every association everything that we have voluntarily or knowingly or unknowingly associated ourselves with that is an affront to you is a sin to you father we repent this morning and ask oh god almighty that you will make us like a fresh spring that brings forth clean water make us like a new a, a fresh uh, grape tree grape plant vine that connects only to clean good fruit in the mighty name of jesus christ connect us as a as a a, a fruit to the vine of yeshua the amashiach of 
of Nazareth, Lord, that cannot be contaminated. Make us like the trees planted by the rivers of water that brings forth fruit in its season, O God Almighty. Father, we wish not to be hallelujah a perverse generation a stiff naked generation a hard-hearted generation we desire not to be oh gracious wonderful god like whitewashed sepulcher like a tomb with dead man's bones on the inside rotting and stink on the inside but looking good and nicely presented as a package on the outside father we rather be clean on the inside even if it means looking raggedy on the outside father we want to be hallelujah flushed and cleansed and purified and sanctified on the inside in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth Lord we want what is you to come forth out of us we want you to manifest in us Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth we turn our cups up this morning and we say Lord Jesus if you can find it in your heart to be merciful to us if you can find it in your heart to give us grace one more time one more time Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth pour into us again pour into us a fresh the baptism of your spirit for the work of your ministry the work of your your assignment the work of your kingdom the work of your glory pour into us a fresh oh god almighty fresh tongues fresh will fresh purpose fresh joy fresh peace fresh righteousness pour into us again oh god the representation of your kingdom by your spirit in the mighty name of jesus christ let every person hear in my voice and even those who will hear afterwards oh god almighty cause a fresh outpouring a fresh download of your glory upon us oh god as you pour glory upon moses and cause him to shine as you pour glory upon solomon and cause him to be the wisest man in his time and in his season father we ask to God that you are no respecter of man we say to you your word says you are no respecter of man what you have done for others what you have done for Moses what you have done for Elisha what you have done for Elijah for Samuel what you have done oh God almighty for the man at the pool of Bethesda for the woman with the issue of blood for the woman bent over for 18 years what you have done for Lazarus you will do for us and so God those are us who are knee in need of the dead thing being arisen in our lives today we ask you god raise up our oh god those who have dead finances raise it back to life like you did lazarus those who are experiencing the issue of blood kind of symptoms the kind of situation oh god that has been plaguing us health wise for years like the woman with the issue of blood father we ask that you will touch our oh god almighty cause us to touch your hem this morning touch your hem this morning that those of us who have been carrying issues for a long time will be healed like that woman lord let everything that has been easily affecting us dry up and die now in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth every spirit of infirmity every cancer diabetes hypertension arthritis polymyelitis every every sickness everything that is affecting circulation blood disorder we command them to die by fire today in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth lord any issue soulish or physical that is functioning against your people causing sickness depression Oh God, every demonic oppression happening in the homes of your people, God Almighty, we lift up in a special way. Hallelujah. Debbie 10. And we say, Father God, visit Debbie 10's house this morning. Visit Debbie 10's body this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We come in agreement, oh God, that Debbie 10 is not a friend to the enemy. Debbie 10 does not belong to Satan. Therefore, his access is denied. His access is revoked from Debbie 10's life this morning. In in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we uproot any tree of wickedness, any tree of untimely death that he has planted in our dear sister's life. And we uproot that now in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of depression in her house, we uproot that now in the name of Jesus. Every physical attack against her body, we say, Satan, the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rebuke you. Debbie 10 does not belong to you. She belongs to Yeshua. She belongs to the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. She belongs to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. She belongs to the one whose name is above every name and that at the 
sound of his name. Healing comes at the sound of his name. Deliverance comes at the sound of his name. Salvation comes. And so Lord Jesus Christ, Debbie Ten and every other person that is represented by her today. Father, every person that is represented here that is carrying an issue, that is carrying a bug, that is carrying a parasite, that is carrying something that is not right. Today, Lord God Almighty, hallelujah, not tonight, right now, right now, we ask by the power of the Holy Spirit and the authority of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, uproot every sickness, uproot every disease. Father God, we are not gathered here to hear man, to see man, or to know man's plan, but we are gathered here because we know you can. We are gathered here because we desire more of you. We are gathered here because we know you can do it. We are gathered here because we know this is the season when you are calling the elect to boot. You are calling the elect to bear fruit. You're calling the elect to speak truth. You're calling the elect, O oh God, even when we are youth. And so, Father God, hallelujah, we ask that you will pour out your spirit upon us in this season, that we might be healers of your people, that we might be deliverers of your people, that we might walk in the fullness of your goodness and cancel every assignment of the enemy. Father, your word tells us that we have power because you have given it to us, power to tread upon every serpent and scorpion that seeks to attack, to destroy, to steal, and to kill. You have given us power to tread upon the scorpions. You have given us power over the power of the enemy. He who is Lucifer and all of his principalities and powers, his rulers of darkness, his spiritual wickedness in high places, and every other enemy that raises themselves against the knowledge of you. Lord, you said that you have given us power over them. We ask, O oh God, for nothing extra. We just ask that you allow that power that you have given us to manifest in this season. Manifest on behalf of David Tain. Manifest on behalf of every person that is hearing my voice now, that is carrying some kind of sickness. Father, cancer wants to come back even as cancer exists. But today we say cancer receive fire. Spirit of cancer receive fire. Lupus receive fire. Uh, breast cancer receive fire. Uh, colon cancer receive fire. Prostate cancer receive fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every other kind of cancer in the liver, cancer in the blood, every kind of cancer I speak to you now. And I say by the grace of God, by the authority of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I command every sickness that is hearing my voice now, I command you to uproot. I uproot cancer. I uproot cancer. I uproot arthritis. I uproot diabetes. I uproot uh, hypertension. I uproot fibroids. I uproot every kind of growth that is not of God. Every kind of stone, gall stone, every kind of stone, every kind of kidney disease. I uproot fatty liver in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I uproot every kind of circulation issues. I uproot by fire from your people, O oh God Almighty. Those that are hearing me now and in their household, every sickness that exists. Exist, oh God, every emotional distress, every spirit of rejection, every demon operating in the lives of your people, contaminating their dreams and visions. Oh, Father God, those that are being attacked, oh God Almighty, that we know, those that are meant to be embarrassed, to be put to shame, Father, as they have cried out even in dreams for prayer, Father, we pray for them this morning. I pray specifically, oh God, for that family that you showed me in a dream, that God, the enemy, wants to embarrass. I pray for them this morning, oh God, no nakedness shall come nigh them, no shame shall come nigh that household. Father God Almighty, I stand in the gap for them this day, and I Clear that every household represented in this family shall be a household of power, shall be a household of victory, shall be a household of anointing, shall be a household of purpose, shall be a household that wins. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we reverse every curse 
every assignment of the enemy against us. Uh, Father, may the blood of Yeshua be upon the lintel and doorpost of our homes and our lives. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, we declare uh, that our children and our future children shall live and not die. Uh, they shall declare the works of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, we declare, O oh God Almighty, that we shall not die before we accomplish the purposes for which we were born. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I declare and decree uh, that we shall not miss any benefits any favor that you have purpose for us to accomplish in the name of Jesus Christ. And so, Father, every person on these platforms, on Instagram, on Facebook, on TikTok, on YouTube, on Arrows Internet Radio, we declare that today is the day of blessing, the day of favor, the day of open door, the day of increase, the day of healing, the day of deliverance. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, anything that has been holding you back or holding up your blessing, holding up that which should be released, I declare a, a clear path today. I declare that as Abraham looked and saw a wide expanse of territory, I declare that today a wide expanse of territory is in your spiritual eyes and that God says there are no limits to where you can go, to what you can do. God says if you will believe him, there are no limits. On this prophetic Wednesday, I prophesy that healing is your portion, blessing is your portion, on common increase is your portion for the God of Abraham who gave him territories, who gave him Canaan, the God of Isaac, hallelujah, who gave him wives, wife he didn't know about, children he didn't understand, the God of, of Jacob who gave him a whole tribe, a, a government, the God of, of, of of Daniel, who showed him secret things and taught him to do great and mighty things. The God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who on the verge of death visited and protected them. That's the God that we serve. The God of Solomon, the God of David, the God of Elijah and Elisha, the God of Samuel, who none of his words fell to the ground because God authenticated them. I thank you this morning, O oh God, that you authenticate us by your spirit in us. You authenticate us by your spirit in us and through us. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we declare that we shall not die but live. We shall run and never get weary. We shall walk and never faint. We shall live in victory again and again and again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We declare and decree that we will spend time on our knee and you will hear our plea and you will write our decree and Satan shall not have any part or lot with you or me in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we thank you for this day that you have made for us to rejoice and be glad in. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, that we arise today in favor. We arise today to good news, good news. We thank you, Lord, that angels are bringing good news to every member of this family this morning, today, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Every individual on every platform is experiencing a good news to angel. Father, as Daniel got the good news from Michael, Archangel, that your, that your answer will be here shortly. For I have been dispatched to fight on your behalf. I declare and decree that angels have been dispatched to fight on your behalf, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Angels have been dispatched to fight for your blessing, to fight for your breakthrough, to fight for that which will belongs to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And so, Lord, I thank you that today, beginning this day, hallelujah, before this week is out, a testimony shall come to your people, testimony of your goodness, testimony of breakthrough, testimony of shift, testimony of upgrade, testimony of increase, testimony of enlargement, testimony of running and never getting weary, testimony of favor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we are redeemed by your blood and the word of our testimony. So, Lord, let testimonies be our portion this week. I prophesy testimonies, testimonies, testimonies in the name of Jesus. I call for testimonies. I reach into the realm of the spirit and I call for testimonies. I send testimonies to you now. Testimonies, testimonies, 
testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Testimonies of business expansion. Testimonies of business become profitable. Testimonies of business starting. Testimonies, oh God Almighty, of new jobs. Testimony of elevation, promotion. Testimonies, oh God Almighty, of financial windfall, financial breakthrough, financial blessings. Testimonies, oh God Almighty of shift where one mindset existed that was against us we thank you for testimonies of a shift to, to to that which was against us being for us testimonies of your word that says all things will work together for our good because we love you and we are called according to your purpose and so lord let testimonies that fulfill our purpose be our portion this week in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth for lord you told us that your plans for us are good and not evil to give us a hope and a future to prosper us that we might meet your expected end and so god that comes with multiple testimonies we call forth multiple testimonies for every fourth watch family member this morning in the name of jesus i speak testimonies of healing testimonies of blessing testimonies of open doors testimonies of opportunities testimonies of favor with god and man i speak testimonies today i declare you have access to testimonies Testimonies today, access to testimonies this week. I declare that this week shall not be over without you having testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we ask that as you open the, the windows of heaven this day, as you open the windows of heaven right now, let access to testimonies be the portion of your people. Testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Testimonies now, testimonies later, testimonies tomorrow. Testimonies Friday, testimonies over the weekend. Let Monday not come, O oh God, without every person that is hearing me now experiencing a testimony in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Testimonies of the baptism of the Holy Ghost and fire. Testimonies of the Spirit of the Living God being upon us to anoint us to preach the gospel, to anoint us to set at liberty them that are bruised, to anoint us to set our oh God the captives free, to anoint us to declare beauty for ashes over your people father let this week be a week of testimony let not monday morning come oh god and and any one person in this family is testimony less or oh, our god our, our testimony free God Almighty, we are here. You are hearing our plea. Let testimonies be our portion. Testimonies of good and not evil. Testimonies of blessing and not curse. Testimonies of favor, O oh God Almighty, and not fear. Testimonies of faith, O oh God, and not failure. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, victory testimonies, victory testimonies. We call forth every form of victory testimonies to be dispersed among your people today in the name of Jesus Christ. Victory for testimonies of our children being saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, getting promotions, scholarships. I release scholarships and promotions and elevations and transformation to our children in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, I declare that our children shall be strong and mighty through you to the pulling down of strongholds. Our children shall not be compromisers they shall not be lukewarm but shall be steadfast and immovable setting their face like flint like young jeremiah they shall press towards the mark of the high calling like paul they shall stand like samuel and speak a word and it shall not fall to the ground for it shall be rooted and grounded in you i thank you lord god almighty that our children shall not be a generation of viper but a generation that knows their god and they will be strong and do exploits in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth our children and our grandchildren shall be demonstrators of your glory they shall be a, a, a blessing to their generation in the name of jesus christ our children shall be atmosphere shifters nation changers they shall infiltrate governmental systems corporate systems church systems and they shall turn what needs to be turned upon his head they shall pluck up and they shall tear down they shall plant and they shall build in the mighty name of jesus christ our sons shall be great husbands and fathers our daughters shall be amazing wives and mothers 
fathers in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I thank you Lord that your purpose will be done in the lives of your people in the mighty name of Jesus Christ what the enemy has meant for evil in our lives and against our families shall be turned to good in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we thank you Lord that we have favor with you and man today we have favor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth thank you Lord for your blessings that make rich and add no sorrow thank you Lord God Almighty that today tomorrow and every day for the rest of this week we are blessed to be a blessing wherever we go in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and we thank you Lord that it is done according to what we have said according to your word your will and your purpose thank you father for open heavens today open heavens over all of us in every way open heavens that bring the spirit of wisdom upon us oh god the spirit of understanding the spirit of counsel and might the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the lord i thank you lord god almighty that we are strengthened as human beings in those six elements oh god almighty of the power of your kingdom and lord we thank you that the fruit of the spirit manifests in us by your holy spirit the gifts of the spirit manifests through us by your holy spirit in the name of jesus christ i thank you lord that those that are hearing me now wherever they go and whatever they do O god almighty they will manifest the fruit of the spirit and the gifts of the spirit as needed thank you lord that your people are encouraged by your will and by your purpose for their lives in the name of jesus christ i bless every person that is hearing my voice now I bless you to flourish I bless you to prosper I bless you to be healed I bless you to be delivered I bless you to be set free I bless you to be made whole I bless you to be strong and mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds I bless you to do great exploits in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I bless you to flourish I bless you to be anointed sons and daughters that God Almighty can trust trust with his secret things trust like he trusted Moses trust like he trusted Samuel trust like he trusted Elijah and Elisha I declare that you are a modern day carrier of the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ your ladies you are like Deborah hallelujah you are like Mary mighty women of valor you are like Elizabeth the carrier of a voice that will usher in the coming of the Lord in this season hallelujah you are like Mary Magdalene you've been delivered from every Everything that once easily beset you and now you love Jesus and only wants to be at his feet I prophetically declare hallelujah hallelujah that you are like the woman bent over for 18 years you've been touched by the hand of the Lord and now you are healed whole and ready to take control and ready to give him your soul in a greater way for the service of the kingdom you're like the woman with the issue of blood touched by the God the hem of his garment touched by his hands touched by his eyes touched by his presence ready to go to testify of the healing power of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth the glorious power of the Holy Ghost I declare that you've been wound up and set on course to go establish and expand the kingdom of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ ladies you have been given all that you need for life and godliness go utilize it now in the name of Jesus Christ the Bible says young men I call upon you because you are strong every young man hearing my voice right now I call you to books I call you as a watchman on the wall I call you to blow the trumpet I call you to sound the alarm another enemy is coming I call you to sound the alarm for Satan wants to charm his way into the lives of God's people but I call you men to stand as kings and priests I call you to stand up as mighty warriors for the kingdom of God I call you to be like like David's 30 men of valor that you cannot you can never get tired you fight until all your enemies are dead I call you forth to be like Joshua to speak to even the Sun and command it to cease its eye uh, its movements until you have defeated all of God's enemies I call you forth like Moses to point your rod across everything that is wide expansive difficult and seeming to be impossible to defeat I call you forth to be like the priest who stepped into the water 
hallelujah into the jordan river and it parted at their very footsteps i call you forth to be like like david a king that knew no mercy for his enemies yet was in love with god and in love with his family in the mighty name of jesus christ hallelujah i call you forth to be also like david one that repents at the very recognition of failings and flaws in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth i call you forth Hallelujah. To be mighty men of valor in this time and in this season. That wives will look honorably and respectfully to their husbands. Hallelujah. And soon to be wives will be with not anxious but expectant. Hallelujah. Excitedly expectant. Hallelujah. To come in oneness, in unity, unity and unison with this king, with this priest with this mighty man of valor that God has given, hallelujah, them too, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I declare a favor and a blessing upon this family, even now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak open doors, I speak opportunities, I speak blessing, I speak favor, I speak increase, I speak expansion, I speak uncommon impartation of the anointing of God for the glory of God to come forth out of your actions out of your words out of your touch out of your presence in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I declare that you are blessed and highly favored people of God you are blessed and highly favored no weapon formed against you can prosper every tongue that has risen up against you in judgment in the past is now condemned and destroyed by fire every lie that has been told against you at work every fight against every demonic every witchcraft every satanic assignment against you at work or in your business I reverse that curse every 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 spirit that has come from secret societies uh, to shut down your business, uh, to stymie your business, uh, to slow down your business, uh, to ensure that you don't feed your family or get or, or live the good life that God wants you to live. Uh, I reverse that curse. I blow away those word curses now. I command every curse sent against your business to back up. I visit like Elijah, Elisha, the, 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 the store, the rooms, the boardrooms, the offices, the bedrooms, every place of their meetings in the name of Jesus. And I cancel their assignment. I reverse their curses. Every chant, every decree, everywhere that your name has been put, your business name has been put. I tear up those parchment papers. I break those bottles and I take your names out of it in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that said you must not prosper, you should not flourish, you will not become who God wants you to become. I reverse that curse and cancel that assignment now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I declare and decree that you are prosperous, you are full of love, you are overflowing, you are walking in the fullness of the will of God and that nothing shall by enemies hurt you. Even those who have been spoken against by people of God, even those who have been cursed by people of God I reverse those curses now and I send them away hallelujah in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth where your names have been called unfortunately and without cause by persons who are crying out to the real God, persons who are cursing you and don't even know that you are not guilty. I reverse that curse and I declare that it will not go further than the roof of their house, the roof of the building where they are saying it from. It will fall back to the ground and die in the name of Jesus. For the word of God says a curse without a cause cannot stand. Therefore, no one can curse you and it stands if you are not guilty in the name of Jesus. And Father, those of us who are guilty of anything that has caused one to curse speak a curse against us we repent O oh god and we declare that that curse will not stand against us will not stand in our lives in the name of jesus christ of nazareth father no spirit of witchcraft no witch or warlock no demon or devil no principality or power no ruler of darkness shall come against us and succeed in the mighty name of jesus christ i declare that we are blessed to be a blessing we are blessed to flourish 
flourish. We are blessed to expand. We are blessed to increase. We are blessed to enlarge. We are blessed to prosper even as our souls prosper in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And so I release an uncommon blessing upon every person hearing my voice now. Every person that is with, that is walking according to the will and purpose of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every person that has set their heart to be a part of what Jesus Christ of Nazareth is doing in these end times. I declare you blessed. I declare you highly favored. I declare your family blessed. I declare your offsprings, your generations blessed. I declare that every plot, plan, scheme, and trap of the enemy to, to delay, derail, or deny you, even from generations back, 50 generations, I reverse that curse and I sever that umbilical cord. Every umbilical cord that connects you to sickness, to poverty, to lack, to insufficiency, I sever with the sword of the Spirit that umbilical cord this morning and I ask you to just by, by faith the umbilical cord is connected to the navel. I want you to pull out that umbilical cord, every umbilical cord of unrighteousness, every umbilical cord of failure, every umbilical cord that is set to, to transfer things to you later on in life, every umbilical cord that is connected to you that you cannot see or do not know because it was made by a pledge by family members or friends or relationships that you were in in the past, every umbilical cord of fornication adultery, every umbilical cord of failure, every umbilical cord of deception, every umbilical cord of rejection, unforgiveness, abandonment, every umbilical cord that could have been connected to you that you did not, you were not aware of, sever them this morning, come on, pluck out those umbilical cords, pluck them out, rip them out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, by faith, every umbilical cord connected to your navel that is transferring things even in small portions, that is from Satan that you didn't know about pluck it out pluck it out pluck it out say I pluck out every demonic umbilical cord every satanic umbilical cord every umbilical cord from family generational loins of evil and witchcraft and any kind of sin I pluck it out in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and I declare that I am connected only to Yeshua I am connected only to the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth I prophetically declare this morning uh, that every person hearing my voice uh, is connected to the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth uh, and the blessings and favor that come with that connection uh, shall be my portion our portion come on declare it uh, I am connected only to the Lord Jesus Christ uh, my blood is the blood of Yeshua my my body is the body of Yeshua my mind is the mind of Yeshua. I see through the eyes of Yeshua. I speak from the tongue of Yeshua. I hear with the, hear, the ears of Yeshua, the Amashiach of Nazareth. My joints and marrow is from the Yeshua, the Amashiach of Nazareth. I am blessed by the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I walk in the fullness of his goodness. My family walks in the fullness of his goodness. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my children are blessed and highly favored. My marriage is blessed and highly favored. My future marriage is blessed and highly favored. Come on, people of God. If you're not married, then it's your future marriage. If you're married now, then it's your marriage now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, declare it. Declare it. Declare it. The gift of the grace of a great marriage to Jesus and to man uh, and, to, and to human is are accepted and done in the name of Jesus Christ. Every man shall marry a woman and every woman shall marry a man. Authentic communing in Jesus name with the production, hallelujah, of blessings and favor with fruit coming from the union that God has joined together and no man can put asunder in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May lightning and thunder be the weapons against our enemies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we thank you, Lord, that today is a good day, a day of blessing and favor, a day of increase, expansion, enlargement, a day of promotion, elevation, a day of blessings that make rich and add no sorrow in Jesus Christ. Christ of Nazareth's mighty name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God most high. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him all creatures here below. Praise him above ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. I truly believe prophetically and authoritatively that healing has come to the bodies of God's people today. Deliverance has come to God's people today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. If you've been feeling lethargic, feeling dull, feeling less listless, feeling like lacking in energy, feeling like you're having aches and pains about, hallelujah, I want you to test and check taste and see that the Lord is good for I believe that healing has taken place some persons were feeling kind of downcast and oppressed but Jesus Christ of Nazareth has come that you might have life and life more abundantly so healing has taken place uplifting has taken place a refreshing has has been imparted the spirit of the refresher has touched your life this morning and so hallelujah Hallelujah. Glory to God. Most high. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm. He has so tori and Jesus. Guys, and and I got to tell you, there is a there's a witch on on um there's a witch on on TikTok. <laughs> There's a witch on TikTok trying to get a presence, trying to get notoriety, <laughs> talking about delusion and not making sense. And if God created everything, only a fool say in his heart, there is no God. And if God didn't create everything, hallelujah, then he's not God. Amen. And so this witch is trying to get some attention. But guys on TikTok, please don't pay that witch any mind. Don't let that witch distract you. I laugh at witches because at some point in time, God's going to encounter you and let you see who God really is. And so I set the fire of God to encircle you, the fire of God to keep you in check. Like Paul said to the witch, hallelujah. Hallelujah to the one with the spirit of divination. Looser in the name of Jesus Christ. You unclean spirit of witchcraft. You unclean witch spirit. You unclean spirit of denying Christ. You unclean anti-Christ spirit. I command you in the name of Jesus Christ. Loose this witch now and cause her to be a mighty woman of God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is Lord. Whether you are a denier or not, his reality is incomprehensible, indisputable. And no matter what you say out of your deluded, distracted, or hallelujah, disillusioned mouth, it cannot come to pass because jesus christ is still god and you will see you think he won't answer watch and see tonight as you go to sleep you will have an encounter with an angel and you will know that jesus christ truly is lord we're not scared of any deniers of christ jesus is real to us he shows himself strong and mighty to us so we don't have to babble because jesus has already dabbled with our lives and so hallelujah go find jesus for yourself go find jesus for yourself he's waiting for you he's waiting for you in the name of jesus christ may deliver yes deliverance from that destruction in the mighty name of jesus christ but she can't that which can distract me my dear bless trust me i'm just i'm just empathetic to the the, the 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 way she has opened herself and allowed satan to dominate and to take charge of her life and is speaking through her and she does not even respond re realize and so all we can do is empathize and pray for persons like her and others because she the, the, her opening statement was can two men marry am i against two men marrying so you see right away what spirit is at work and what spirit is guiding her thoughts and her soul and so we empathize and we cry out to god for her and others like her in their souls in the name of jesus because it's not about whether or not two men can marry of course two men can marry if they so choose of course i could cheat on my wife if i so choose of course i could sin and still go preach if i so choose we can do anything we choose anything we choose and that's where the mix-up is that's where the problem is any two men can marry if they so choose any two women can marry if they so choose 
we are not we are only responsible for ourselves come on people of god let me just bring some reality to the conversation we don't get upset or flustered or frustrated or annoyed or sick to our stomach and and, and seem like we're bigots or that we hate people when two men choose to get married or two women choose to get married i don't teach that if they choose to, that's their will and purpose. The Pharisees walked with Jesus for days, for years, for the three and a half years of his ministry. They walked with him, but they chose to not accept him. And he gave them that right. He told Peter, Peter, you are going to choose to deny me. And Peter did. And Jesus didn't um, ostracize him. We as humans, maybe if someone betrayed us like that, would have cut them off and not have anything to do with them. And so let me just state for the record hear me clearly for the record people of god do not get caught up in trying to to be drawn into a debate or a discussion about whether or not um, people can do what God has given them freedom to do. We don't have authority over people. God has given us authority over everything that flies and creeps and crawl and swim. That's what he has given us authority over. We can speak the trees and they produce fruit. We can speak the mountain and they be uprooted and dropping and, and go in the sea. We can speak the fig trees and they will die. But people have freedom to do what they want to do. So can two men marry? Of course they can. Let me just set the record straight on that. Can two women marry? Of course they can. Hallelujah. Of course they can. So if you if you think you can set up this man of God, you've failed again, which you've failed. Two men can marry. Two women can marry. We teach truth here. And the truth is people have freedom to do what they want to do. But know that you will also hear the truth hear that the consequences of your actions regardless of what it is adultery fornication uh, marrying in abomination any kind any any lying cheating come on stealing murder come on idle jesting idle speaking um rejection uh, any kind of foul thing anything that goes against the will and purpose of god understand that you will answer for the consequences of that action if you do not repent and turn and so any question you ask me this man of god is going to tell you of course you are free to do it what you are not free to do and this is where the perversion comes in across the world what you are not free to do is to force me to accept that what you do is right for me I also have the freedom to choose to marry a woman I have that freedom you have the choice to marry a woman if you're a woman or a man if you're a man I have the choice to marry a woman I marry an amazing beautiful fantastic mm -mm -mm, bono nunus girl yeah hallelujah because I know I'm a man so I marry a woman amen you have the choice just like me I would never take that choice from you God has not taken that choice from you and I represent God and so you have that choice but no says God that you will stand before him on that day and I will be judged for how I treated my wife what I did to my wife and for my wife or didn't do and you will be standing before him the judge of all judges and you will have to answer to him as to why you made the decision to choose who you chose to marry I cannot condemn you for that i will not condemn you for that and i cannot judge you for that but god will judge all of us for the decisions that we make this is our position as people of god we love you we want the best for you but we pray that you will make the right decision according to the will and purpose of god that when judgment day comes you will hear well done the good and faithful servant Everyone, we're talking about access this month. You have access, hallelujah. You have access to righteousness, holiness, and truth. You have access in the same way that this witch has access to, the, to, to TikTok, access to speak her peace and to send up words of any kind. And, and, and it's, it's not a problem. You have freedom, freedom to state your, your case and your peace. And that's, that's okay, hallelujah, that's okay. But guess what? Hallelujah. We have freedom to reject what you are spewing. We have the same freedom to deny accepting what you are saying. In the same way you have freedom to say 
what we are saying is babbling, what we are saying is nonsense, what we are saying makes no sense. It makes no sense to you because it is spiritually discerned. Remember, the Bible says a fool say in his heart there is no God. And it's not that they can say there is no God like that. It's not just that. When one denies the presence of God, when one denies the actions of God, when, that, when one denies what God has done, when one denies that the word of God is the word of God, when one denies the move of the spirit, that is saying there is no God. And so it's not just saying, oh, there is no God. I am, I am an atheist. There is no God. It's not just that. There are people who say that and it equates to all kinds of other things. And then there are people who say that the Bible is foolishness. They say, I believe in God, but the Bible is foolishness. That is also one who is foolish. Because if the Bible does not exist or if the Bible is foolish, then there is no God. Come on, you see, people of God, next level, next level, next level. So some purpose say, people say, I believe in a higher being, but I don't believe in Jesus. That means they're saying there is no God. They need to repent. They need to repent. So like this person here on TikTok she just needs to repent. We just need to pray for her. She's misguided. She's she's been um, demonically oppressed, and Satan has Satan is pushing her button like a computer, and everything that's coming out of her, she's not she's not operating now like a human. But so were some of us, amen. So were almost all of us at some point in time. I used to spew well, probably not the same foolishness because I was never that deceived, but. Um, all of us have gone through some situations where we needed guidance, we needed direction, we needed correction, we needed uh, uh, the, the intervention of the Lord to help us to become. So please, guys, I'm begging you, when you come across these people, don't get flustered, don't get discouraged, don't get dissuaded, don't even get into confrontation with them because that's sometimes what Satan wants. Pastor Marsh and I have been watching this video and it talks about how they come in to distract, how they come in to, to, um, to disrupt, especially, you notice this morning, we didn't see them yesterday or the day before when we were just talking about the things of God, but as soon as we begin to pray fire, as soon as we begin to pray power, as soon as we begin to pray, you notice how the prayer was powerful this morning, you feel the tingling and the anointing, Satan says, go, go disrupt, go. Go we'll try and, 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 and cause a problem. Hallelujah. But they, <laughs> they didn't know that we saw the video. They didn't know that we we're prepared. They didn't know that no matter what they say, God has already given us an answer. Or they didn't know that what they, when they come, they'll come upon a Jericho wall that is made of fire. They come upon a sea that is made of fire. Come on, which if you, if you want to hear babbling, hear babbling. I send fire from heaven to burn out every satanic manifestation in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Hey, if you think you're here bubbling, hear some more. Hold that, Satan. Glory to God. Mm, hallelujah. Guys, we have to get to a place where these things and these people don't upset us. Stop being emotional. Satan thrives on emotional behavior. He thrives when we get flustered. He thrives when we try to defend God. He thrives when we try to defend the word. He thrives when we don't know how to be strong and mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. He thrives when we don't know how to be still and let God. Hey, Mark Riba. Oh, Jesus, I'm too excited. I thank you this morning, which I thank you because you get me more excited. You burn, you, oh, you light my fire, girl. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hey, Jesus. Glory to God. The best way for Satan to leave you alone is when he comes, all he does is make you stronger, make you last longer. If you want Satan to leave you, be people of God. When he comes, regardless of who he comes through or comes by or which way he comes, whether by winds and waves or by, by, by detractors or by liars or by those who want to argue and fight with you, if when he comes, all happens is that you float to the top like good cream or like good milk. If you, if you begin to expand like a gas balloon and float away, if you take off like a jet and get higher, he will leave you alone because he does not want you to succeed. He does not want you to prosper. 
And so I am begging you, people of God, my, my family and friends. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See it? She run out of lyrics. She gone. <laughs> I'm telling you, this works every time. Please, when you go to work, if someone is being satanic and demonic against you, do not get flustered, vexed, and start to think, laugh, enjoy it, pray for them, even openly. The telling lie on your father, I thank you for Sandra Jones. Sandra Jones, who has, who has been coming against me, but Lord, I thank you that it is not her. It is the satanic spirit that wants to destroy me and her as well, wanting to cause us to pit against each other. But Lord, I love her, for you love her it is not your will that any should perish but that all should come to repentance pray for her like there is no tomorrow pray for her because satan is gonna say you know what i better leave lest she let she get my 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 um my emissary saved i better leave her alone come on somebody hallelujah come on so let us change our mindset let us be renewed in our minds as to how we deal with these things when they come because we're in the last days. They're going to come with greater uh, intensity. They're going to come with greater numbers. And we must treat them like water. And we're a boat. They're the water. And we're the boat. They take us where we want to go. Come on, people of God. Haters, detractors, deniers, antichrist people will take us where we want to go. Because God promised us that our enemies will become our footstool. Our footstool lifts up our feet and make us comfortable. They are like water under us. They must take us to the big body, which is Jesus Christ, which, is, which represents the sea. Come on, glory to God. They will take us out to where we need to go so we can catch food, as in fish. So they all they are are facilitators of our victory. Come on, people of God. You got to learn and understand this. Do not let them frustrate you. You see, this morning, can I just can I just confess something to you by the grace of God? I have never ever thought about answering the question or that which came up about marriage before. Never thought of it. It never dawned on me. I never um, I never knew I could answer the way that I answered this morning. So I'm not taking any credit. Pastor Wade is not brilliant. He never thought of it and, and came up with this brilliant answer. Oh, he's so wise. It is the Holy Spirit. I just realized just now, come on, glory to God, that when we give ourselves over to God, that's why men are always to pray and not to faint. Because there are answers in you by the Spirit that you don't even know. You've never had to confront it. You've never had to deal with it. You've never had to, 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 um, to spew it. But there are answers in us that just allows us. Come on, glory to God. I have to tell you the truth because I don't want anybody to leave here this morning thinking, wow, what an answer. Pastor Wade is so wise. I give God all the glory. I'm telling you, I never thought of that answer. That's the perfect answer. No one can go away and say, Pastor Wade is a hater. He's against the, the, the various community, the rainbow community. He's against the alphabet community. He's this and he says that men can't marry men and women can't marry men. They can't not say that because the video is there as evidence that I said they can. It is there. I said they can. That's why the witch had to leave. She's now gone, disappeared because the fire of God has chased her away in the mighty name of Jesus. Because what she was hoping to do was to get me all flustered like they have done so many pastors and ministers of the gospel of Jesus and talk about go away with your nastiness and start the curse. <laughs> We embrace them and we say, come on in, because you have the freedom to do anything as a created being in the earth. But just know for sure that whatever you decide to do, even us as believers, whatever decisions that you make, even as believers, be ready to answer for that decision. Amen. Be ready to answer when you are asked, why did you do what you did? Why did you say what you did? Be ready. And so enjoy yourselves, people. If you're unsaved, if you're in, if you're whatever situation or circumstance you're in, I would invite you to come into the body of Christ. Come learn about Jesus. Come be a part of what God is doing in this season because eternity awaits you with either joy or sorrow. Eternity awaits every man with either joy or sorrow. And what decisions we make will decide what happens to us tomorrow. 
amen, whether joy or sorrow. And so, enjoy your today with your boyfriend, Mr. Man, or with your girlfriend, Miss Woman. But understand, hallelujah, we won't hate on you. We will love you and continue to pray for you. You can go ahead because that's your free right to do, hallelujah. But don't try to cancel us because we choose to do otherwise. Don't try to cancel me because I marry Marsha Wade. Don't, that's not right. If I'm not trying to cancel you because you marry Jim and you are Tim, why would you want to cancel me because I marry Marsha? That's, that's, that's wrong. That's defeating your own mandate. So that's what shows you how satanic your heart position is and you need deliverance. And so we speak deliverance now to all those who Satan has under his, 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 his bondage who has caused people to realize that they are trying to embrace love, but really it is manifesting as hate. They hate me if I have a different opinion. They hate other people who have a different opinion. But now they don't know what to do with me because they realize I don't have a different opinion. My opinion is the opinion of God. And that's the opinion of love, the Lord God Almighty with all my heart, mind, soul, and strength, and my neighbor, Whoever that neighbor is, whether they are LGBTQ, QI plus or minus or otherwise, every single human being have an opportunity to come to know Jesus, regardless of what they're doing. We see some people's sin and we say, my God, no, I can't have anything to do with this person. There once was a time when our sin was a stench in the nostril of God. But guess what? We had access. Come on, somebody. Access to redemption. Access to salvation. Access to reconciliation. Access, hallelujah, to revitalization. We had access and we took advantage of that access through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And so this morning, I want to say thank you, Jesus, for access. Thank you that access brought me out of fornication. Access brought me out of adultery. Access brought me out of sickness and disease. Access brought me out of a life that was destined for sorrow and brought me into a future that doesn't that doesn't just include tomorrow in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. And so we must learn, guys, how to float on the waters no matter how, how they come. Because our destination is determined by how we relax and let good or evil take us to the place where we need to be. Amen? That's why Paul says, come on, it's beginning to get clearer in my mind now as God gives me revelation this morning. It's get, it gets clearer now when Paul says, in everything give thanks. In everything give thanks. Hallelujah. And so if we set our heart to give thanks in the good times, we must set our heart to give thanks in the bad times. Amen? Hallelujah. And so if we give thanks in the bad times, it means that when the water is rough, when it looks like it's going to capsize our boat, when it looks like it's going to kill us, we're not going to cry out like the disciples and say, Lord, don't you care that we perish? You know that scripture? When they were in the boat and Jesus was sleeping, having a good time, water coming in and wetting him up, and he's not even paying that any mind. He's just ignoring that. Because it can't make him uncomfortable. It can't make him get emotional. It can't make him get upset. Come on, people of God. We have to take a message, a page, out of the book of our Lord. Sleep in the midst of the storm. Come on, glory to God. Hallelujah. And when the storm starts to think that it is in charge, then you can rise up and say, peace, be still. We have access to great power. We just have to know it. And Satan wants to take that power from us. Satan desires to take that power from us by trying to get us to say and to do what is not what God wants us to say and do. That's the only way he can take our power. But we have access to the ability to resist him, that he will flee from us. And so this morning, this witch didn't expect to get resisted. Because this man of God is there praying and praying and praying for these people. I got to shut him up. I got to stop him. I got to make him recognize that nothing that he's saying is of any value or significance. I got to make the people hear a different side of him. I got to get him emotional, flustered, frustrated. But God was prepared. Hallelujah. God knew she was going to come. And God prepared me and even gave me greater revelation. Hallelujah. I'm so excited about God. I can't stop talking. Woo! Glory to God. 
She says, I'm babbling. I'm going to babble some more because I love this babbling. Hallelujah. Guys, we got to get excited because once we lay ourselves fully in the arms of the Lord, anything that we need, he has already provided, even that which we don't know. He will give us revelation of things that we didn't know. The Bible says that the secret things belong to God and the revealed things belong to us. You want to live a life where God reveals answers to what ails you or what the problems are or what can solve situations. God gives you answers, reveal these secret things to you as you go along each moment. If you're a teacher, if you work in the medical industry, if you work in, 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 in um, economics or in business, uh, there are always things, always issues, always problems to solve. Uh, and God says those problems might be secret, uh, but now you know that because God who knows all things, secret and revealed, is in you, then he can get you to be the problem solver. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, make us problem solvers. Make us problem solvers. Reveal your secrets to us, O God. As you reveal the secret things of the king's chamber to Elisha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we ask, O God, that every fourth watch family member be drawn into your secret place uh, and that secret things be revealed to us uh, god as you put moses in the cleft of the rock uh, and reveal secret things to him uh, things that went before his time uh, and things were to be, that, that were to become after his time uh, father so do the same for us by your spirit in us in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth make us the answer to what ails this sick world to what ails this sick people in this world father Satan has infiltrated and manipulated and is manifesting his, his evil, dastardly, lascivious deeds upon the people. But God, we know that in the same way I used to be a sinner, in the same way I used to be wicked, and you have made me whole, you have taken control, you have renewed me, you have reconciled me the same way you can do it for those who do not yet have not yet experienced you. And so, Lord Jesus, I ask you to make every single member of this family every person that's hearing me now on TikTok, on instagram on facebook on youtube on arrows internet radio father lord jesus christ of nazareth make us vessels of glory for you in the same way you went about and demonstrated what needs to be done uh, what needed to be done at the time in the same way you did for the apostles and disciples that came after you so do for us in this season that men might be saved we know that there are many hundreds of thousands and millions whose names are in the lamb's book of life who are right now walking around as counselors as woke as 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 the, the, the testers of the will of god as agnostics, as atheists, as other as members of other religions worshiping false gods. But your names are written, and you need us to walk in power, anointing, and grace to draw them out of the place where Satan has them to the place where they need to be. And so I ask you now, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, on behalf of every person hearing my voice now and delayed, open the windows of heaven, Lord Jesus. Pour out a special blessing upon us, O God, and make us the answer to what ails these people. Sometimes it is their sickness that we will pray and you will heal that will cause them to recognize that you are real and they will come to you. Sometimes it's that soulish pain that hurt that their parents died. Parent, a child, a loved one, a wife or a husband. And they, they, they wrote you off because they think you should have honored their requests. And now they don't believe in you because of the pain that they still carry. Lord Jesus, make us answers. Answers, O oh God Almighty, to what ails your, your creation. That they might become your people. That the kingdom might be expanded. And all those who have access will utilize that access. For your glory because of us by your spirit in the name of the lord jesus christ amen we pray O oh god almighty for those who are experiencing great trauma great distress in the middle east in israel 
and Gaza. We pray, O oh God Almighty, that the children and the women and the innocent that are being displaced because of uh, something that Satan has done. He has no new trick, just new venues, new situations, new circumstances, but no new tricks. In the same way, what he does is he attacks and hopes that the retaliation injures and destroys even the innocent. That the one who was there doing their right thing, being their own self, can now become a villain because they were attacked. I pray, O oh God, that Satan will be revealed, will be exposed for his tricks, and that we will not be disrupted, delayed, derailed, or denied. We will not be deceived by Satan's tricks, but we will identify them and shut them down in the name of Jesus Christ. And so, Lord, we know that this is manifestation of the end times, and so it's difficult to even pray against the war because it is the beginning of the end, though not the end. And so we just pray that peace will find the hearts of all those who are connected and being affected in this war, especially the war in Ukraine, Russia and Ukraine, and Israel and Palestine. I pray, O oh God, that the innocent children and women will not feel like you have abandoned them. They will not feel like you do not care about them, but that they will find peace in you, that you will visit them individually and touch them and bring peace to their hearts, even if restoration is not on the cards at this time. I pray for the peace of Jerusalem, the place where your throne will be established and place from where you will judge. I pray for the peace of Jerusalem. I pray for the salvation of all Jews, even as I pray for the salvation of all those who are to be saved. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray for salvation for Vladimir Putin, President Zelensky. I pray for salvation for all the leaders of Africa and all the people in Africa. I pray for the salvation of President Joe Biden. And I pray for the salvation and restoration of the United States of America. I pray the blessings of God upon the United States. I pray, God, that they will not just be a leader of the free world because of nuclear bomb or money. <clears throat> but they will be the leader of the free world because of the righteousness, holiness, and truth that emanates from that nation. America was once a nation under God Almighty, Jehovah not any other god not any false gods not any immoralities america the united states of america was once a virtuous nation that led the way by morals and ideals father may those days return that they will not need so many bombs and so much of the the country's money invested in weapons of destruction but to uplift the people to make life better for the people of the United States and to be an example to the rest of the world to emulate. I pray for the souls of those in government and for the souls of all Americans, even as I pray for the souls of all people across the world. But there always have to be leaders. As Jamaica is a leader, as a nation that the enemy is constantly attacking but cannot defeat, so America will be a nation whose God is the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Righteousness, holiness, and truth will be the portion of the United States of America. I speak salvation to the House, to the White House, salvation to the House of Parliament in the name of Jesus Christ. Divine visitation and manifestations in the name of Jesus Christ. And we thank you, gracious, wonderful God, that this day, this day, is a good day for the Lord to be magnified in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God most high. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God. What a mighty God. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 
All right, so we're out of time. It's uh, 6.24. We only have about 10 minutes to go before we end because we started about five or seven minutes late. But I want to just, um, as we as we close, people of God, just to leave a little encouragement from um, Romans 14. Uh, we had stopped at verse 15. We did a little piece of verse 15. But since we're talking about access and access uh, through sacrifice, access through not being flustered or, uh, or distracted by the things that Satan tries to do, uh, because once we have entered, once access has been given to us and we come into the kingdom, remember that the kingdom of God is not eating or drinking, but righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. And so God is, has been telling us that all of this week. Come on, glory to God, because he knows that when the distractions come, they want to stop us from doing rightly, which is righteous. They want to steal or for us to give up our peace, to get frustrated and annoyed. And they want us more than anything else to lose our joy. And if we lose the joy of the Lord, then we have no strength. Come on. So you're, you're making the connection, people of God, to why Satan is so adamant to send witches and warlocks, demons and devils, principalities and powers to try to distract us, to dissuade us, to discourage us, to dis discombobulate us from our reconciled life, a life of righteousness, holiness and truth, a life of righteousness, peace and joy. He needs to try to get us to give that up because he can't take it. So the witch this morning recognized she can't take my peace, she can't take my joy, and she cannot get me to say or do anything unrighteous. So she has failed. No matter how she keeps talking, she has failed. And no matter which warlock comes and speaks, they have failed because they cannot take what God has placed in us by his spirit. I need somebody to get that, to understand that, and to accept that. Satan can cause all kinds of issues in the atmosphere. He's the God of this system of things. He's the God of the prince of the power of the air. He can cause storms to come, situations. He can fight your finance. He can fight your health for a season. He can fight your marriage for a season. He can fight through your children. He can do all kinds of things, but he cannot take your joy you have to give it to him he cannot take your peace you have to give it to him he cannot cause you to be unrighteous you have to choose to be unrighteous and so once we hold fast to the pillars righteousness peace and joy once we hold fast to those pillars of the kingdom he can only come and knock at the gate of the kingdom but he cannot come in Oh, glory to God. I wish somebody would get that. I need some hallelujahs because you get it. I need some hallelujahs because you understand that what you have been giving up all these years, how you have allowed Satan to infiltrate and manipulate all these years. Today, I am telling you by the voice of God that we can make a decision that makes Satan knock on the gate but cannot enter. She can, she, 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 Satan can hold on to your clothes, but you can still run out naked. Come on, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so verse 15 of, of, of Romans 14 says, If your brother is distressed because of what you eat, you are no longer acting in love. If your brother is distressed, so like this woman that come on this morning now and talking all these things, if she becomes distressed by my response to her, if she hears a response that is aggressive, that is not rooted in love, that is, is, is hateful, venom, venomous, vengeful, then she becomes distressed. But the truth is, despite her attitude, despite her, her, her approach, despite the, the, the agenda that she's on as a Luciferian emissary, she is still my sister. She is still my sister. The David Hernandez, I think his name is, or some Hernandez fellow, the guy that used to be a Satanist, that used to meet with Satan face to face, when he used to carry out these things and used to do these things, he was the enemy of the church. If the church could pray and God kill him, they would, but he was not really the enemy. Lucifer is always the John Ramirez. Thank you, Stephen. Appreciate you. Love you, bro. Hallelujah. John Ramirez, when he was a Satanist, working with Satan and doing all these things, people of God, if we had met him, if we had met him, I can tell you, I can tell you, and I and I mean this in jest only, please. If 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 he came 
to our church. Pastor Masha would not shake him hand knowing that he's a Satanist and him wicked. Pastor Masha would be like, hey, it's not wise. I ain't touching him. A Satanist, a warlock who kill people and drink blood and all these things. Uh-uh, I'm not touching him. But God is saying to us as a new revelation. I remember, guys, I'm not, this is, just because she's my wife and I know she can take it, this is not, I'm not knocking her, all right? Please, I use her as the example because I don't want to use any stranger. But it's just an example. We as the church, though, seriously, seriously, though, I'm serious about this now, we as the church would have rejected John Ramirez, don't it? Talk truth. You don't have to confess it loud so that everybody hear. We would have rejected. I don't know that I would have welcomed him. But now revelation has come that it is not him, it is the Lucifer behind him. Because now that Jesus had met, has met him and has touched him and Lucifer no longer has control over his life, we now call him brother. What is different about him? Is his nose different? Are his eyes different? Are his ears different? Is his complexion different? He's no different. What is different now is that the Lucifer that was controlling him is no longer controlling him and he's now being controlled by Jesus. Come on, I'm teaching good this morning by the Holy Ghost. So we must be careful not to hate the person who is ignorant like this person that is that 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 was um is is talking all this trash. Don't hate the person because the person is not what 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 is the problem the, we commit by like david to hate what god hates god doesn't hate man he hates the plan of satan against man amen when jesus said to peter get thee behind me satan for you have not the things of god as your mandate he wasn't saying that to peter the man he was saying that to satan to cancel his plan amen but Satan, if he, I mean Peter, if he was sensitive and emotional, he would have taken offense to that and walk away and leave Jesus. So how dare you call me Satan? Because Peter is the one that said it. But Jesus spoke to the spirit behind it. We must learn to be like Jesus. Do not hate the person who the word is coming out of, who the action is coming out of. But go after the one who is guiding that action who is speaking those words from behind them. Go after them. That's who God hates. Amen. Come on, people of God. And we will get less emotional, less fearful, less doubting, less skeptical, less offended. Come on. When we begin to think like that, when we begin to understand that it's not the person, it's the spirit. And then we go after the spirit set the person free and we have hundreds of millions of John Ramirez running around winning souls for the kingdom and telling people about the secrets of the enemy hallelujah so had I not watched that video and I thank God for brother Alex who sent me that video Alex I bless you and your family and your household if I had not watched that video maybe this this witch this morning would have upset me would have frustrated me would have made me throw me off this be a distraction, but I embrace the witch this morning. And I say, come witch, and whatever you say, I, I, I praise God for you. Praise God for you. Amen. We must learn and grow every day. Ah, praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, so that's what that line in this, in this means. If your brother is distressed because of what you eat, what you say, what you do, you are no longer acting in love. Come on, you got to get that people of God. Read it for yourself and understand that it is not just eat. It's not just food God is talking about. Because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So it's not what goes in your mouth that defiles you, but what comes out. Amen? So it's not just food that he's talking about. It is everything that comes out of your mouth that represents food that went in. Because everything is eaten. Every position, every opinion that we have was once food that we ate in. Either from TV or from school. Come on. From books. From the Bible. From any source. We had to eat it in and then it comes back out. And so if what we eat, if our brother is offended by what we eat, then we're no longer walking in love. So we must eat that which will not offend our brother. Eat the word of God, not the lies of Satan.
Come on, glory to God. You get in this, guys? Oh, I'm so excited. Hallelujah. We're not acting in love if we don't. It says, do not by your eating, do not by what you consume, destroy your brother for whom Christ died. Do not by what you consume or what you do, come on, hallelujah, destroy your brother for whom Christ died. And so I couldn't say anything that would destroy this woman because Christ died for her too. And how she is now is not necessarily how she will be in two days or before this weekend is out. And so as we close, Father, we just pray for this misguided emissary of Satan at the moment. But I pray that she will become an evangelist for you. That even now when she thinks that your word is nonsense, is babblings, when she is seeking to desecrate and to blaspheme the Holy Spirit, I pray that her ignorance will not be held against her. I pray, O oh God, that you will visit her and manifest your glory through her, that her testimony will go across the world, go viral. That I tried to disrupt many churches, I tried to distract and derail many devotional times in my time working as an emissary of Satan, but God had a purpose for me. And now I'm saved, sanctified, and Holy Ghost filled. Let that be her testimony, O oh God. Her testimony of transformation, of reconciliation. Because the Fourth Watch family encountered her, prayed for her, and she was delivered. I pray, Father, that before this week is out, she will be a testimony of your goodness. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen and amen. Cover us even now, O Lord Jesus. We thank you for today. Please get your communion. We thank you for today. We thank you in every way. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that you gave us access to prayer, access to revelation, access to secret things today, access to blessings and favor, access to deliverance, access unfettered, undiluted access in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, that through that access that you gave us today, we are the best and we pass the test. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, sanctify and consecrate these emblems even now. May they be to our bodies health and strength, prosperity and good success. May we flourish and prosper. And may that which was spoken over our lives today manifest to the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen and amen. And so as the Lord Jesus Christ took the bread, he blessed it and broke it. He gave it to the disciples and he said, eat, this is my body broken for you. As often as you eat of it, you do it in remembrance of me. Eat ye all of it in faith, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And likewise, he took the cup, he blessed it and took a sup, and he said, drink, this is my blood the blood of the new covenant as often as you drink of it you do it in remembrance of me drink all of it in faith in jesus name hallelujah as we're about to close i just saw someone come on screen from liberia liberian queen liberian queen we welcome you into the presence of the lord may the kairos moment of the lord fall upon you and upon all of liberia May you be blessed and may your nation be blessed. May, this, may salvation be the portion of all Liberians. May Jesus Christ be the center of Liberia. And may the Holy Spirit minister in and through all of Liberia. And as you have come into this Kairos moment, may, the Liberia, may Liberians' impact be driven through you as one of the sources of evangelism. One of the sources of power and joy and peace in the Holy Ghost with righteousness as the foundation in the name of Jesus Christ. I bless your nation, Liberia. I bless you and I declare that the favor of God is upon Liberia as of today in Jesus' name. Amen. Liberian Queen, thank you so much for passing through. We bless you and declare God's favor on you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Um, can I just take 10 seconds and just prophesy? Um, Alonzo Coleman, Alonzo Coleman 
from uh, TikTok, Alonzo Coleman, you too has just come on. And even as the Liberian queen was being blessed and Liberia was being blessed, the Lord says to bless you. Alonzo Coleman, life has not been perfect. You have been distracted by many things and you have gone many places and seen many things. And uh, you, you sometimes wonder about uh, where you are, who you are, and what's your purpose. But God says to tell you this morning, hallelujah, that you are blessed and highly favored, that you are called to do great things for him. Uh, so Alonzo, understand that as you focus on what God is doing in this season, you will accomplish great tasks for God's purpose in the name of Jesus Christ. House, house of, um, house of what? Um, I see someone says prophesy to me, Pastor, uh, but I can't see your name. House of, uh, it's it's very transparent, hard to see. House of clothing for UK. I see some clothing, unisex clothing. House of uh, unisex clothing uh, for, for for the UK, England. Hallelujah. And so, Father, even as this person, I'm not sure if it's male or female, has, has reached out and is asking for your hand to be upon them. Uh, they have a business and obviously have a, 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 a family. I pray, O oh God Almighty, for their family. I pray for their business. I pray, O oh God Almighty, that you will do a mighty work in this season. I move you from the back to the front. I declare that even as your business has not been as successful as you want it to be, the Lord says, because you have cried out to him today, according to his word that says, those who call unto me, I will hear and answer. I declare that the Lord has heard and has answered, and you will see, hallelujah, within the, the even before this year is out that you will exceed what you did last year your business will begin to flourish and to take off but the lord says he needs more of you more of your attention more focus because you've been focused elsewhere uh, for for a little while and god has not been getting more than token uh, connection to him but God wants you to focus on him in this season. And he says that he will shift that which concerns you. Yes, it's Yvonne. Hallelujah. Her name is Yvonne. Yvonne, I declare that God is saying to you as you keep your eyes focused on him. He says you have had some success like Peter where you've walked on the water and everybody has admired and said, wow, you're doing well, but you're not doing as well as you could. And so you have allowed the situations and circumstances, the climate in England, the climate in the business, to, to, um, to distract you and you're looking to the right and to the left but God says keep your eyes focused on him in this season and Yvonne not only you but your business will also do well I bless your family I declare that every family concern that you have and the desires that you have to do well in business so that you can help your family come out of those that are poor, come out of poverty and to do some good things because your heart is a good heart and you want to be a blessing and to help people. And God says, if you keep your eyes focused on him and let him be the answer to what ails you instead of you trying to be the answer to what ails other people. God says, if you allow him to work through you, your business, your family, and everything that concerns you will be fixed. I hear you. I hear in your heart you're saying that um, you wanted to travel somewhere. God has not shown me where you wanted to travel, but you have desired to travel. Hallelujah. And um, and maybe the resources has not been there uh, for, for a little while. And sometimes you get a little sad. But God says his favor door has been opened to you. And, um, and early next year, you will travel in the first quarter of the year, depending on what's going on. Hallelujah. God says door has been opened for travel. Access has been granted to you, Sister Yvonne, in many areas of your life. But you must keep your eyes focused on Jesus that you will not lose the access. You will only sink if you blink. Hallelujah. Oh, she says, people of God, she says, wow, that's true. That's true. Praise God. God is truly here and he's ministering to this lady all the way in the UK. Yvonne, God loves you and he wants you to focus on him. What he wants to bless you with, you will understand. Hallelujah. Better by and by. Just keep your eyes on Jesus and just keep saying, Lord, I trust you. Lord, my business is yours. My family is yours. My life is yours. You do what you want to do and watch him cause you to travel even more than you were expecting to travel and to, and to be blessed even more than you were expecting to be blessed. 
when we trust him he does the exceedingly abundantly above all we could ask think or imagine in jesus name god bless you sister ivan we love you and we know jesus loves you even more god has shown you this morning how access can be an encouragement and an open door for blessings you had access to TikTok. you choose to use that access you had access to me and you choose to ask for a blessing and god use me to be a blessing to you because you had access people of god i leave you with this this morning access has been granted what you do with that access is what will determine what you accomplish amen access what is rightfully yours and watch god do the exceedingly abundantly above all you can ask think or imagine in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're well over our time, but I had to bless Sister Yvonne by the leading of the Lord. So please forgive me in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Raise your hands for the blessing. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Go forth, family, and have an amazing day God's way. For our God has already shaken everything that is evil out of your day his way. In Jesus' mighty name. Remember, Jesus loves you. And we love the whole Aona too. On behalf of Pastor Marsha Wade, I'm Rowan Wade saying, Have a blessed day in the name of Jesus Christ. You're welcome, Sister Yvonne. Hallelujah. Glory to God most high. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him all creatures here below. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please remember to do something good for someone today. Sister Yvonne, all the way in UK, as God has blessed you and poured into you, he has given you seed so that you can sow. So please sow to someone in your, in your vicinity, in your area. Look for someone and go out of your way to help someone. Uh, they don't have to be homeless, but if you see a homeless person or someone who is in need of a little bit for food, don't just pass them. Give back some out of what God has given you this morning. God has only given you words of encouragement, but that words of encouragement, hallelujah, has a value. Amen. So we ask each day for us to just make an effort to do, to go about doing good for the Lord to be glorified. Amen. Let your light so shine among men that they might see your good works and glorify our Father who art in heaven. God bless you. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus.